how sometimes the roof leaks? And then the washing machine overflows. And then the refrigerator goes on the blink all at the same time. Naturally, I try to fix things up myself. something always goes wrong. <laughs> Luckily, these things are all covered by warranty. Sorry, John. The warranty on your stove expired exactly uh, 28 minutes ago. Oh, it's a cold world out there. <laughs> but when I advertised for a handyman, I never thought I'd end up hiring Rex DeForest III, the richest and meanest man I know. You've got 24 hours to pay your rent. But, son, I only owe you a dollar. I've been lenient with you too long. You're out, Dad. But you will still come for Christmas dinner, won't you, Sonny? Not if you don't pay your rent, Daddy. <laughs> Gee, boss, you sure cleaned them out fast. You got to use every trick in the book to beat hustlers at their own game. Rex was mean to everybody, but especially to his sidekick, Chester. Uh, hey, boss, remember how you said you'd go and have these on a lottery ticket? Me? <laughs> I'd never be partners with a nobody like you. Rex and Chester were in town when we went to Granny Knott's to buy some groceries. You spent your last dollar on a lottery ticket. A fool and his money are soon parted. You're hopeless. Hapless. And clumsy. A real nobody. Oh, uh, yeah? But maybe it's this nobody's lucky day. Poor Chester. No one should have to take that kind of abuse. But his luck was about to change. And now, for the really big jackpot. The first ball is seven. I won! I won! I won! You need six numbers to win. Oh, I knew that. And the second number is sixteen. The next number is twelve. I'm out. And here comes number 33. Our fifth number is nine. Oh, just my luck. I got a six. Hey, you're looking at it upside down. Uh, a foolish waste of time and money. And now, for the big, and I do mean really big jackpot, the last number is one. One, 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 one. You are right already. Let, let up. You're hurting my brain. What brain? <laughs> no. What, what Binky's trying to say is, you won. I won. You won. I, won. I, won. I, won. I won. I won. I won. He 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 won. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. He's rich. He's rich. He's rich. He's rich. May I have this dance, partner? Oh, but you'd never be partners with a nobody like me, remember? The next morning, Rex went about his business as usual. Well, almost. Where are my glasses? Where is my pen? You idiot! You moron! Where is my idiot? <laughs> Yep, the world's newest zillionaire, Chester, was fulfilling his fantasy. That does it. I'm going to ruin that idiot. Hey, it's the boss. I mean, uh, uh Rex. Yeah, uh, uh, go get him, G. Rex's plan was to break Chester by getting him to invest all his money in companies that were sure to lose money. 
I want to help you, Chester, for old times' sake. After all, a fool and his money are soon parted. Uh, whatever you say, boss. Uh, Rex? Now, here are my recommendations for the stock market. Albatross airplanes, bitter butter bread, Piper's chili peppers, and loopy ladders. Oh, you heard him? Uh, airplanes, bread, chili, ladders. Bye, 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 bye it on! Bye. 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 Oh, thanks for coming, Rexy. To Lou. Rex DeForest III just couldn't wait to ruin Chester. <laughs> ah, a beautiful day for Chester to go bankrupt. Airplanes are going up, bread is rising, jelly peppers are hot, ladders are climbing. I'd make Chester even richer. Richer than me! <laughs> what am I? Crazy? If I can make Chester richer, I can make me richer! Albatross airplanes, bitter butter bread, Piper's chili peppers, loopy ladders! Bye! 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 Uh, Iggy, did you finish fixing that table? Well, uh, sort of. Uh, how about the flagpole? I'll... Good. Well, just because the stove is broken, uh, it doesn't mean we can't feast. Mmm, looks great. Mmm. Totally gross. Whoa, John, fleet's in. Campers, uh, mind if I look around? Yes, uh, you no, know, uh, go ahead, make yourself at home at uh, the camper. <laughs> well, uh, no, I was just uh, riding around looking for real estate and stuff, you know. <laughs> I got a little extra money to spend. So, uh, like I was um, uh, thinking, John, uh, how'd you like to sell me camp candy for a million bucks? A million, 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 million bucks? Well, a million bucks. How do I look? They're talking about money. Oh. A little shocked by Chester's offer to buy Camp Candy for a million smackolas. One million? Well, you drive a hard bargain, John. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Uh, two million. Two million? Uh, one, uh, two, uh, two and a half. Uh, I'll make it three million. You don't understand, Chester. These kids would be lost without their camp. Why? You could buy anything you want. Anything? Uh, a new stove? Uh, a new refrigerator? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, these kids could have the camp of their dreams. Anything? Camp Comedy. I was walking through the woods with a camper who was so green. When I asked him to get some wood to build a campfire, he looked around. He said, duh, where can I get some wood? So I said, hey, both, I'll use your head. But seriously, not only was this guy dumb, he was so ugly when he was born, the doctor slapped his mother. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're a lovely audience. <laughs> Welcome to Vanessa's Camp Fashion, the most fashionable camp on earth. We have fashions for every occasion, from swimming to those formal workouts. I prefer fun fur. Oh, tea for a penny on soda pop filled strings. No grown ups 
alone except John. <laughs> Adults-only section. So, you don't sell me the camp? No, Chester, I can't sell you camp candy for three million. Four million dollars? Although, it would be nice to fix things up a little. Chili peppers turn cold. Ladders collapse. I'm ruined. I've lost all my money. <laughs> oh, no. This can't be. The bank. Oh, no. Please, please, please. No, no, no. Please don't kick me off my property. I'll get the money back. Just don't kick me out. <laughs> Gee, Rex, I'm surprised to see you dropping in. <laughs> I've lost everything I own. And the only consolation I have is that he lost everything, too. I did? He bought it and sold it immediately at an enormous profit. <laughs> Life is not fair. You got richer, and I lost everything. The bank took my property away, and now they're selling it. <laughs> oh, they did? Oh, gee, that place is just like home to me. Yes, sir. Uh, can I buy it? Yes, sir. Chester set sail for Rex's property and bought it from the bank for a song. And I do mean a song. Oh, give me a home where Chester could roam, where me and my money can stay. Without the mirror, I just go raging work. And the skies ain't cloudy at all in the day. <laughs> While Chester was getting all teary-eyed about his new house, Rex was plenty teary-eyed about his new house. The poor I house. I got a penny. I lost it all. <laughs> Take pity on me. You've got to help me. Give me a job. Give me a break. Well, um... I... I'll throw myself on your mercy. I've seen better acting on a National Geographic special. Okay, Rex, I'll hire you. And you can start right now. Handyman? I was thinking of maybe your job. Well, obviously, my job was taken. <laughs> so Rex became our handyman. I'll bet you wondered if I'd ever get to this part. Actually, Rex was a hard worker. And that, and that, and that! And things were soon ship -shape again. And I do mean everything. <laughs> Take my word for it. But personality-wise, Godzilla would have been nicer to have around. Good morning, Rex. Uh, nice day, isn't it, Rex? <gasps> well, you're doing a terrific job, Rex. You're welcome. Yeesh! What a grouch! Sometimes I'd see Rex look over at his old place, and I knew he was wondering what Chester was doing over there. <sighs> yep, here I am. I've got it all. Everything I could ever want. Yep, this is the life. No one to talk to, no one to tell me what to do, nobody to call me an idiot. <clears throat> yes, sir. You call me an idiot. I beg your pardon, sir. You call me an idiot. Uh, that, that's an order. <laughs> yes, sir. You are an idiot, sir. Oh, it just ain't the same. 
I'm so lonely. <laughs> a few days later, Chester paid us another visit. Well, that's that's nice of you, Chester, but but are you sure? Uh, sure, I'm sure. Uh, if it's okay with you, sure. Well, sure. Ah, uh, bring her down. <laughs> Gather round. Uh. Wow. I got you a gift. It's so big. What is it? I just pulled a string. A latrine? Your own private latrine, see? <laughs> it's even got your name on it. Uh, I didn't know how many X's there was in Rex, so I put a whole bunch on there. <laughs> I'm uh, flattered. But why did you do this? Uh, gee, I don't know, boss. I mean, Rex... I guess I kind of maybe miss you a little. Well, a lot. Chester, why didn't you say so? You don't have to be lonely. <laughs> I don't? Uh, you mean you'll come visit me? Only if you give everything you have to me. The property, all your money, everything. And come work for me again. Oh, boss, I thought you'd never ask. Stop slobbering on me, you idiot! This is the happiest day of my life. You know, those two are made for each other. I'll say. Oh. So Rex went back home. But at least he repaired everything first. Then Camp Candy went back to normal. A place for fun, friendship, and the quiet beauty of nature. Chester! Come back here, you idiot! Like I said, <laughs> normal. Shouted, yippee! Cause a summer camp is the place you should be.